Good morning, my name is Heather and I'm a member of TRM Church and I'll be reading the devotional for today, Thursday, October 28th. The devotional for today is entitled, Avoid Habits That Can Enslave You and pulls from 1 Corinthians 6.12 that says, If I went around doing whatever I thought I could get by with, I'd be a slave to my whims. The devotional goes on to say, Paul said, just because something is technically legal doesn't mean it's spiritually appropriate. If I went around doing whatever I thought I could get by with, I'd be a slave to my whims. If you're serious about spiritual growth, look for opportunities to say no to yourself in small areas. Then one day you will be able to say it when it really counts. Daniel started by saying no to eating the king's food and later was able to say no to bowing to the king's idols. Zero in on the undisciplined areas in your life. The ones you keep excusing, rationalizing, and delaying dealing with. Paul measured his actions by, his yard, by this yardstick. It is, is it beneficial? Does it have the potential to control me? See 1 Corinthians 6.12. You have a right to eat a tub of ice cream every night. It's permissible, but it's not beneficial, especially if you want unblocked arteries, a trim waistline, the um, ability to run a marathon, or just keep up with your kids and grandkids. You have a right to spend your money as you please, but don't complain when you end up strangled by debt. You have a right to look at whatever you want on TV or the internet, but exposure to wrong influences will inevitably, inevitably weaken your character, rob you of self-respect, and enslave you. Bottom line, your character is the sum total of the choices you make each day. And one more thought. When it comes to replacing bad habits with good ones, the only person who can make that happen is you. And now let's bow our heads and pray. Lord, thank you for this lesson today. Um, as we just continue with our day and our week, um, I just ask that if there's anybody struggling with um, just any anything that relates to making decisions for themselves, um, Lord, I just ask that you help us to be stronger, help them to be stronger in those areas. Um, and if some people are making choices that they don't know, maybe hurting them or affecting them later, um, I ask that you help them to see. Um, and if anyone is struggling and can't, um, can't either control themselves in certain areas, Lord, I ask that um, the people around them um, and the people who can support them will come and um, help them in their, in their weaknesses. So again, we thank you for this lesson. We thank you for this day. And we are so grateful for all of the blessings that you've put into our lives. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. And have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.